Dear Diary, I think Saturn's new vinyl smell is depleting my daddy's brain cells. That Frank's a different kind of guy. Last week, he sold a car to a kid from my old playgroup. Then it hit him. Every kid in that playgroup is about 16 now. Or as he put it, first Saturn age. I tried to explain to him that teenagers aren't like Pavlov's dogs. You can't honk just any car horn and think we'll start salivating. It has to be the right car, you know what I'm saying? Something worthy of cruising the shop. Hey, can I have everybody's attention? This is Veronica, and today she bought her first car, a Saturn. <laughs> and of course, he didn't listen to me. So in his latest attempt to sell Saturns, he's hosting a reunion party for my playgroup tonight. I guess things could be worse. We could be vacationing in Saturn Village. I've got a little surprise for my family. This summer, we're going to be vacationing in Spring Hill, Tennessee, better known as Saturn Village. <laughs> before you tried to check my oil. <laughs> no, no, I, I just grabbed her. It was an honest mistake. Look, I thought she was you. No, 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 I, I didn't think she was you. I, I didn't think she was her either. Frank, this is Mrs. Thomas, our new housekeeper. Housekeeper? Mm -hmm. When did we get a housekeeper? Hey, Miss Thomas. Good morning, Mrs. Thomas. Good morning, kids. Oh, so everybody knows but me, huh? Dee, can I talk to you? Dee, you got a maid? A housekeeper, Frank. Oh, well, thanks for keeping me informed. And since when did we need a housekeeper? Since you dropped an intimate party for 30 on me. Honey, I work too, you know. Oh, come on, Dee. What's the big deal? I mean, how many people does it take to put some cheese on a cracker? I assume that one of the many reasons you married me is because I have class and you have potential. <laughs> You can just forget about the cheese on the cracker, the weenies on the sticks, oh, and those hot pockets you are so fond of. Wait a minute, what's wrong with hot pockets? I take it back. You don't have potential. <laughs> Good morning, Kimfo. Hey, Hakeem. Hi, Hakeem. Hey, what's happening, Miss Thomas? Even he knew? Frank, that information was on a need-to-know basis. Hey, yo, Daddy, do I have to be here for the party tonight? Ooh, I'll be there. No, you won't. And yes, you do, baby. Now, Pumpkin, you're the reason I'm having this party. Daddy, I didn't ask you to have this party. Moesha, I think what your father is trying to say is, if you are not here, then people will know that the only reason he is throwing this little playgroup reunion is to sell cars. Does that about sum it up, honey? Totally. Oh. <laughs> See ya. All right, Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So come on, Pumpkin. It'll be fun, baby. Look, you get a chance to meet all your old friends. You can talk about the good old days. Oh, I can see us now, you know, reminiscing about eating paste, pulling tails off of lizards, wetting our pants. <laughs> Daddy, I can't wait. Oh, come on, pumpkin. Hey, what about that boy that you couldn't do without? You know, the one you used to always try to bring home? Now, I know you can't wait to see him. Daddy, what are you talking about? Nobody's even thinking about Matt. Oh, is that his name? I couldn't remember. <laughs> Dad, I just don't want to be here tonight at the party, because all you're going to do is embarrass me. Oh, baby, what are you talking about? Oh, go ahead, baby. Uh, recite one of them poems. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Miles, do your Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah, it was all time favorite. I can't get out my house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gone. <laughs> For the stars, I can. I strive for the heavens. I have a plan. People wonder how far I will go. 
but this is my journey. I will not aim low. That's my baby. <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs> Miles. Come on, son, do your Michael Jackson thing. I can't. I don't have my glove. Oh, come on. <laughs> Yeah. Dad and Dee have already jammed me up for two poems and a sonnet. But you threw the rap. Believe that. Who was Jason Dupree here? Who? You remember Jason Dupree? The one with the big brown eyes and the cute little old butt? <laughs> uh, Kim, when we were watching Sesame Street, mm -hmm. what were you watching? Jason's butt. <laughs> look, man, don't get your hopes up, because you remember that kid on Wonder Years? Mm -hmm. He grew up to look just like Jay Leno. <laughs> <laughs> No, not Jason. He puts the Ford in fun. So was Matt coming tonight? Why does everybody keep asking me about him? Dang, Mo, don't get all postal. <laughs> you know Matt used to be your boy toy. We were five, you freak. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, oh, now, come on, girl. You remember me. Red Rover, Red Rover. <laughs> yeah, I was the one telling you to come over. <laughs> <clears throat> Hey, Mr. Mitch. Excuse me. I can't, what are you doing in my house? Snacking and macking. <laughs> yeah, well, you better start tracking, because I told you not to be here. Oh, you were serious about that? Yes, I was. Mr. Mitchell, you tell me to get out your house every day. How am I supposed to know when you mean it? Look, hold that thought. Hey, girl, hey, you remember me? Red Rover, Red Rover. <laughs> Excuse me, are you Jason? <laughs> that must be him, cause baby got back. <laughs> Ouch. You might want to stay away from the, you know, the refrigerator magnets. <laughs> Just look, yeah. All right. Kim? Jason, is that you? Yes. <laughs> what you been up to? Well, I just got back from a semester abroad. Paris, the city of lights. Oh, wee oui, wee! Oui. <laughs> Excuse me, where are you going, young lady? Oh, I'm going upstairs to write some more poems. I'm running a little low on material. <laughs> <laughs> well, answer the doorbell, please, and then get me some more ice. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Hi, Momo. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Hold up, it's me, Matt. I know who you are. Then why isn't this a Kodak moment? That is so tired, Matt. Why don't you go mingle with the other guests? This is about your Cabbage Patch doll, isn't it? No, it isn't. But since you brought it up, why did you let Bobby Williams tear off her head? Well, I thought this was... All you had to do was bum rush him, but you let the brother run right past you and dunk my doll's head into the fish bowl. <laughs> it's not funny, Matt. I was the first one on my block to ever adopt a Cabbage Patch, and you let her get disfigured for life. <laughs> okay, I was wrong. Please forgive me. I'll try. All right, we cool now? No. Now what did he do? Park your big wheel in the red zone. <laughs> Look, man, you moved away. I mean, one day we were making some serious mud pies, and the next day you, you didn't show up. Girl, you need to let it go. <laughs> no, my father was in the army. He transferred to Georgia. Well, you could have called. I was five. I didn't even know how to tie my own shoelaces. <laughs> you were my best friend, though. And you were mine. And I thought about you for a long time. You're yeah, right. No joke. I even asked Santa to bring you a new Cabbage Patch doll. Sure you did. Did you get one? Yeah. That was me? <laughs> <laughs> Can we start over? Hi, Matt. Hi, Moesha. It's so good to see you. You too. <laughs> Mrs. Mitchell, I've finished up in the kitchen. I've rolled the trash cans out to the curb. Anything else? No, that'll do it. Thank you. You're welcome. You know, baby, I've been thinking. It might not be such a bad idea to have Miss Thomas come around every now and then. By the way, Fridays are good for me. 
Eight o'clock, all right? Yep. See you next week. Good, all right. Wait a minute. You already hired her? You just told me to. And I always do what you tell me to, Frank. <laughs> Mo, you decided to come back. No, I just walked Matt to his car. Oh. Oh. What's so funny? Nobody's thinking about Matt. <laughs> you have a point, Daddy. No, he doesn't. He's just trying to get in your business. Oh. So what's going on between you and Matt? <laughs> Oh, don't be silly, Dee. They're just friends. Ain't nothing going on. Oh, well, not until Saturday night, because uh, we're going out. Oh. For what? Daddy, you know, I know it's been a while, but you know, when two people want to spend more time together, they go on a thing called a date. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Mo, don't play with me. <laughs> a date. Why, is there something wrong with Matt? No, but there's something wrong with you dating him. Right, Dee? Where are you going with this, Frank? Yeah, I'd like to hear more, too. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm not saying that you can't date him, baby, but... Wait, but you're black and he's white. There, I said it. And stepped in it, too. <laughs> oh, come on, Dee. Don't do me like this, baby. You know I don't care about color. No, it's the lack of color that seems to be bothering you. <laughs> I don't want anything to happen to you, baby, just because some crazy person out there has something to prove. Pumpkin, you're the only daughter I've got. You know, it's pretty ironic. You put me in that playgroup so I can learn to get along with different types of people. And when I do, you start bugging. No, 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 baby, I am not bugging. It's just that I have a few more years on you. But, Daddy, things are different now. Yeah, they're different, baby. They're worse. Instead of Abraham, Martin, and John, now we got Rush, Clarence, and Newt. <laughs> So I guess your motto is, if you can't beat them, join them. No, no, that's not what I'm saying, baby. Good night, Daddy. I'm going to bed. Uh, Mo, I... <laughs> Dee, 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 you understand what I'm trying to say, right? Yes, I do. So you agree with me? Good night, Frank. I'm going to bed. <laughs> Are you sure you don't need any help? How hard can it be? <laughs> Maybe I do need a little help, huh? All right. Let me show you how to line up the shot. Just hand it Go ahead, try it. Ooh, Ooh got it. Yes. yes. Hey, Matt. Hey, what's up? You going to the game tomorrow? Uh, maybe. But Patricia, this is Moesha. Hi. Your hair is so pretty. Do you do that yourself? <laughs> well, actually, I... So, Matt, you know about the party doogies? Oh, uh, yeah. But Moesha and I have plans. Really? Oh, you're together. That's so cute. <laughs> well, if your plans should change, you know where to find me. Bye, Matt. Nice meeting you, Moses. <laughs> That's Moesha. Sorry about the airhead. That's okay. I'm having too much fun to sweat the dump. Let's go check on our food. <laughs> Kim, how's it going with Jason? <laughs> perfect. <laughs> you say that like it's a bad thing. Do you know he has a perfect 4.0 grade average? So? As a couple, you average out to a C. <laughs> I'm serious, girl. I've never dated anyone so perfect. On the way over here, a policeman stops us and gives him a way-to-go good driving certificate. <laughs> it's hell, Whitney. <laughs> I mean, you got a good guy and you wanted one, so just be happy and play pool. I wish. I haven't had a shot yet. Minnesota fathead has missed one. <laughs> Rack them. What are you talking about, man? You got three balls on the table. Talking to a winner is you're always a loser. Well, I, I gotta go rack. Baby <laughs> Quill? Finally. I know I'm starving. Here. Excuse me, miss. This isn't our order. That's your order. But it isn't right. Look, I don't want any trouble here, okay? Number 28? I am so sorry. Next one's on me. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, excuse me, miss. I believe we have a problem. You just mixed up our order with the two... No, 
I believe you're the one that's mixed up. What's that supposed to mean? 29, number 29. Hey, come on, man, let's go. No, 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 wait a minute. I'd like to speak to your manager. I am the manager. Let's go. I believe I've had better service at Denny's. <laughs> him she wouldn't be with you and besides man like the song says it's a free country what song is that man i don't know man hey, this place is cool i told you it was bumping you know what mo jason might work out after all oh really mm -hmm. see i'm gonna use jason to make hakeem jealous hey hakeem hey what up yo hakeem you remember jason my date your date With Mo, you know I ain't happy. Then you better tell Opie to apologize. Opie? Hey, Freddie, why you tripping? You the one who's tripping? Little oh, man's too good for the hood. So you apologize or what? I'm not apologizing for hey, something hey, I didn't do. Hey, no, 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 hey, no, no. Hey, no. Hey, 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 what's the problem? Ask Freddie. Hey, he's the one slam dancing. I just ain't gonna let nobody disrespect me. And I'm not gonna let nobody disrespect my place. Everybody is welcome to hang out here. But if you think, hey, aren't you Miss Gaines' grandson? Pookie. Yeah. <laughs> well, I go to church with your grandmother, and I think she'd be very interested in hearing your definition of respect. <clears throat> All right, I'm out of here. Bye. Pookie. <laughs> All right, breaking up, it ain't nothing to see. Uh, DJ, drop that beat. You all right, Mo? I think you should ask Matt that. No, uh, no, I'm cool. Look, it's getting kind of late. You ready to go, Mo? Yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Mm. Mo, you want me to ride shotgun home with you or something? That's right, because Freddie will try to clock him on a sneak. Yeah. No, I'm straight. I'll talk to y'all later. Well, thanks. No, thank you. I had a, an interesting time. Hey, you want to come in? No, no, I should get home. Me too. Oops, I am at home, huh? <laughs> Why did that feel like goodbye? I'm Alicia. Yes, you Hi, Mo. You came back early. Yeah, how'd it go, baby? You okay? Yeah. 
No. There are some real tripped out people out there, man. You know, when Matt and I were five, everything was cool. Out of everyone in that playgroup, he was the one I liked hanging with the most. I wonder when my world became so black and white. If I could take back the last few days, would I? Nah, I can't let the ignorant attitudes of the few dictate what I do. Who knows? Maybe Matt and I will see each other again.